Hello everyone and welcome to uh, this month's edition of the uh, Bus Fly Princess Show Travel Walk, Travel Show. This is a... Uh, sorry, I've got to... This is a monthly show alongside um, my, my weekly interviews that I do with various people about various different subjects and topics. If you would like to be a guest on the Butterfly Princess show, please drop me an email at butterflyprincess93 at outlook.com and I'd love to invite you on to my show to have a chat about the work that you do. This is a free service, um, so um, drop me an email and we can get book you a slot. Um, as well as doing my month, as well as doing weekly interviews with various different people about the work that they do, I also do monthly like uh, side shows. So um, this is the monthly travel show, travel lounge show, where I um, take you on a virtual tour, tour each month of a different country throughout the world. And then, um, so that takes place on the second Friday of each month. And then on the last Sunday of every month, I do the Butterfly Princess Show book club, where I uh, discuss a book that I've uh, been listening to through the uh, Barrel Box app that's free for anyone. All you need to library card to access that app. But this month uh, is it's now the um, Butterfly Princess Travel Lounge. Uh, so for the month of October, the the the, uh, the um, country that I'm taking on a virtual tour this month. Is is Bang Bangladesh. So here goes. Uh, this again. This is all my own independent research. I do all my own research because, as you know, I love doing my research. Really enjoy doing things, finding out the nitty gritty of things. So the capital city of uh, Bangladesh is uh, Dhaka. Spelled Dhaka, spelled D H A K A. History now is a part of an historic region called Bengal. From the 700s to the 1100s, Buddhist and Hindu kings ruled Bengal. Muslims invade around the 1200s. Religion, a uh, region remain independent, remains independent till the year, till the sixteen hundreds. Mongol Empire control India at the time made Bengal Bang, Bengal its own province. British control of India in the seventeen hundreds ruled the area. The British ruled the area until seventeen nineteen forty seven. Um, British left colony of India, and and this meant it was dividing into two independent countries. The two independent countries were East Pakistan, which is now Bangladesh, and West Pakistan, which is now Pakistan. People of East West, people of East and West Pakistan. Stan, which spoke different languages and had different cultures. Struggling for power, this meant the war broke out in the year 1971. One million Bengals were killed, millions fled to India. East Pakistan became independent country of Bangladesh after the war. And it held its first national election in 1973. Military took over the government. And in 1991, it had a series of three elections. Results led to protests and violence continued into early 2000s. In the year, in the year 2000, 2017, wave of 75, 
17 Hungary, 700,000 refugees enter from Myanmar, fleeing from genocide or mass killings from the Myanmar government. So that's a few of a bit of, a bit of a history. Um, so it, it's the facts now is I just got one fact is one of the most crowded countries in the world. Only seven have more. Pe only seven more countries have more people. Currency is they have the Bangladesh Tata. So Bangladesh and then Tata spelt Tango Tango Alpha Kilo Alpha. Geography is it's located in Central Asia, surrounded by India to the west, north, northwest Myanmar, now Burma, to the southeast of the Bay of Bengal, lies mainly in the Delta, the Ganges River, has a tropical mo monsoon climate with heavy summer rain and high summer temperatures. Damaging floods occur every two to three summers. In the, in nineteen ninety one, a cyclone killed more than ten thousand pe people. Winters, win the winters are dry and cool. The government and economy is a poor country. Many of the population live in rural, rural areas. More than half of the population are, are farmers. The culture, rich and diverse, evolved over centuries. Agri architecture, architecture, dance, literature, painting and music. Music groups, classical, folk and modern. Many festivals and holidays. They have national holidays in in, in, in National holidays include Independence Day and Language Movement Day. Um, so the uh, people of Bangladesh, ninety percent of the ninety eight percent of the population are Bengals, speak the state language, West Bengal neighboring state in India. There's culture. Islam is the main religion. Muslims make up 89% of population. 10% are Hindus, rest Buddhists and Christians. Flag, is it flag of Bangladesh, it is Dark green with a red circle slightly to the left of the centre. The green represents the lush vegetation of the land. Red rep the red the red circle represents the sun rising over Bengal and the blood of those who, who died for independence. Flight time from the UK is 10 hours and 55 minutes. Time difference, five hours behind the UK. Um, and, and the food, known for delicious food and desserts, similar to Indian cuisine, but has its own unique elements. Common meat is a fish. Fish and fresh water fish. Other meats are, are beef, chicken and goat. Common foods include rice, fish curry and lentils. Cuisine known for be, the cuisine of Bangladesh is known for being spicy. And desserts and the desserts are very popular. Have a milk and they have a milk to dairy base. The official language of, Bang of Bangladesh is Bengali and some of the attractions you can visit if you ever wanted to visit Bangladesh include the the, 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 the Lag Bog Fort, 
and the St. Martin Island. Thank you for listening. That concludes this month's Travel Lounge episode. Um, I hope that I've inspired you to maybe travel to Bangladesh in the future if you'd like to. Uh, the next Travel um, Lounge episode will be on the 10th of November, but please uh, keep your eyes peeled for uh, the announcement of which country I will be taking you on a virtual tour of for November. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you again all, all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.